What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I sure hope you're all having a great day and you're staying safe and healthy out there. Today we have in the house the latest greatest collectible card club. Uh, yes, so this is the Platinum Multi-Sport Collectible Card Club uh, box. Um, usually I do every month I do football and I do baseball. I have the baseball one sitting over on my shelf over here, but uh, I have the multi-sport now. And the reason why you're probably asking this, why don't you have football? Well, I got an email from uh, Collectible Card Club earlier this month before my subscription came up on the 10th, and they informed me that uh, the Platinum Football is pretty much discontinued. Um, so they suggested switching to the multi-sport because it's uh, still a great value and a lot of fun to rip. Um, the reason why they scrapped the Platinum Football is because obviously the hobby is becoming very expensive, and it's getting harder and harder for them to find product that they can put in their in their uh, subscription boxes that seem reasonable. Um, obviously people don't want a bunch of Panini stickers and uh, NFL 5 or whatever that you know collectible card game is or whatever but you know, so they're they're gonna relook at the uh, Platinum Football later this year and hopefully I, I'm guessing they're they're hoping the prices normalize or hopefully start to come back down a little bit maybe we'll see or maybe when 2021 comes out they'll have more selection I'm not sure uh, so they'll relook at Platinum Football at a later date and see if they're going to reoffer it, and uh, it might be a, a new changed product. Which, uh, you know, I understand that that stuff happens. Subscription boxes, it's hard for them uh, to keep up with the value, the value that they can put in the boxes and make money, and also um, keep up with the market too, because it's just constantly changing. So, uh, so this is where we're at. So we have Platinum Multi Sport. So it should have football, basketball, and baseball in here, which I'm not opposed to. As you can see down here, I have the flavors of cards here. So we have a basketball over here. We have a Kobe Bryant refractor from Topps Chrome. This is, I think, from 2000. Highlight reel insert, pretty cool refractor. You've got a Gale Sayers PSA 8 from 1972 Topps, which is, I love that card, awesome card. Luka Doncic, uh, rookie from Status, PSA 9, and a nice Jason Dominguez. Uh, Bowman's best autograph out of 150. So, displaying a little bit of everything here. So, hopefully, this brings us some luck in these packs. So, let's get into this and uh, see how what, how we're doing this month. A little bit of a long introduction, but definitely necessary to let you guys know the status of how things are going with Collectible Card Club. Uh, I hope all the best for them, and I, I love their product. So, I will continue to support them no matter what I can do. Um, I'm also going to open up this nice little box of uh, Bowman Sterling, which is a mini box from a hobby box. Uh, one auto guaranteed in there. I'll open that one at the end just for fun in case we don't get lucky enough to hit a, an auto in here. But this did not come from Bowman, uh, Collectible Card Club. This is mine. I, I personally bought this, so I just figured I'd just throw this in there and we'll open that too just for fun. All right, so I'll set that in the back. Okay, all right, let's open this up. Let's see what we got this month for our latest edition of the Collectible Card Club. Okay. Alright. As you can see, I can see all three sports on top there. I'm going to pull these packs out. We'll take a look at what we got. Alright. Let's see what we got here. So football, we have a, we've opened this before, hobby pack of 20, or sorry, 2006 Hot Prospects. I think last month I hit like five or six autos, and most of them came out of this stuff, which is actually kind of cool. So hopefully we get something cool in there. Uh, 2020 Update Series Hobby Pack of Baseball. That's nice. I like that product. It's a nice product. Ooh, nice. A new hobby pack of uh, 2021 Series 1. It's a nice pack there. Uh, looks like we have a 2004 draft edition. This is the Hot Prospects version pack, baseball. And then here's another baseball uh, hobby pack of 2019 Big League. So 2019 and older stuff. And let's see what we got in this stack here. So here we have a Hoops pack, um, the new 2020, 2020 Hoops um, I'm guessing, yep, Blaster, there you go, CBL, Blaster, because a hobby pack would be crazy expensive, probably like 20 bucks. Um, a 2020 Pro Debut Hobby Pack, it's a pretty fun product, I actually like that product a lot. Here's a nice one, a Minor League, 2020 Minor League uh, Hobby Pack. 
Here's a 2020 um, hobby pack of high number. So it should have all the rookies in this one. This is the pack you have to be really careful with opening because it can damage the cards. Uh -huh, as crazy as that is. Uh, here's another 2006 Hot Prospects uh, hobby pack. So we got two football packs so far. <laughs> Start to see a trend here. Um, there's a um, 20, sorry, 2018 Big League hobby pack. That's cool. 2018. Here's a hobby pack of Panini Threads 2011. So we got three football packs now. Three football packs. There's another baseball 2014 Bowman Draft hobby pack. A Prism pack of uh, 20. I think this is 2020. Yeah, 2020. I think this is actually a hobby pack. I think. Um, that's a nice pack. That'll be fun. 2020 Prism. And then lastly, a hybrid hobby. Nice. Hybrid hobby of Panini Draft Picks, which actually, these are pretty good packs. Um, you can get some good stuff out of here. They have the fast break parallels and stuff in there. So we did get two basketball packs. We'll do those ones at the end because obviously basketball, uh, very slim and very expensive. Um, we'll do football after that. And then I'll, we'll start with baseball, of course. Um, I'll just go with these older packs. We'll do the uh, older pack, new, like the newer stuff, of course. So we'll put those there. Have to try and keep it in somewhat of an order. 2020, put that there. Heritage, put those there. And then we'll start with these guys here. Okay, cool. Let's do this one first. Okay, here's how we're doing it. Let's do this. Should be fun. Bring you guys down so you can see the action. See the cards a little bit better. There you go. All right. First up, this is a Hot Prospects uh, 2004 MLB Hot Prospects um, hobby pack. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for in this. Uh, it does have a lot of different uh, autographs, parallels, and stuff you can find. There's the odds there, which is kind of cool. They list that so you get an idea. But let's rip this open and see how we do here. It's an old FLIR product, and I can already tell they put the good old FLIR dummy in there. <laughs> it's the real fake out version, you'll see. Alright, Eric Gagne. A little stuck together, I guess. Been in here for quite a while, so. Frank Thomas, that's cool, I'll take that. Nice Frank Thomas. Like the old school vet cards. There's an insert draft rewind of, of uh, where's the name on here? Oh, Josh Beckett. There it is. Josh Beckett. Draft re rewind insert card. So that's technically a rookie. That there like that. And here's what I was talking about. So this is the, the dummy they put in there. It looks like you have something like a hit, but it's a, <laughs> it's a blank card. Gotta love it. Ah, Jason Giambi. Wow. Kurt Schilling. That's cool. It's kind of a cool little pack there, not too, not too shabby. All right, here we go. 2014 Bowman Draft. I think the only big name in Bowman Draft 2014 I can think of is Reese Hoskins. I believe. There's the odds on the back in case you like that kind of sort of thing. Take a look at that stuff on there. But uh, here we go. Of course, Bowman Draft. You're always looking for the first Bowmans of players. So the first one up, we have a. Michael Geddes, first Bowman, a Brandon Nemo, a Justin Steele, first Bowman, Chrome. Ooh, we have a Black Refractor or something. Yeah, we do. I think we have an auto in here. All right, let's see. Uh, we have a Lewis Branson here, followed by a first Bowman of Garrett Fulinich, Ful Fulinchek. And then behind that, we have a Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson. Okay. I don't know. This might be an auto, actually. First Bowman. Nick Birdie. Wow, that's cool. It's a pretty cool looking card. It has a straight up line down it. You can see that right down the middle. <laughs> um, Nick Birdie autograph numbered to 35. Wow. Number to 46. He's a pitcher i've never heard of him so he probably doesn't play <laughs> i 
I, I don't know. I'm not like super versed on pitchers either, so I can't say. That's a pretty cool card. I mean, too bad it wasn't a huge name. A card like this out of 35? Dang, it's crazy. It's a really cool looking card though. I like the, the black chrome refractor. That's really pretty. It's nice. Nick Birdie. Okay, so we got one hit. So at least our hits are taken care of now. There we go. All right, moving on. Next up, we have 2019 Big League. 2019, I guess we're looking for a Fernando Tatis rookie in this, at this point. As all the 2019 stuff skyrocketed as soon as he signed his contract. All right, let's see what we got in here. J.D. Martinez, Kevin Grunson, Danny Duffy, Ryan Braun, La Makina, nicknames. Jose Barrios, insert card. There's a Yulio Guriel, Yuli Guriel, gold. It's not numbered or anything like that. It's just a gold border. And then of course a dummy fake out card. Shohei Otani. There's a rookie of Luis Arias. It's pretty cool. And a Ari Adrizian. All right, next up, 2018 Big League. 2018 Big League, which we hopefully can find a Ronald Acuna in here. That would be pretty cool. Or a uh, Juan Soto. They do have autos in here. Um, they are they do exist in this product, but uh, <laughs> I've never seen one. Or like, I guess I take that back. I've never pulled one myself. So, All right, so let's just go like this. Jetty. Yoko, Chris Archer, Mike Trout, that's a nice card. Take Mike Trout anytime. There's a rookie of uh, Jack Flaherty, Matt Kemp, insert card. Oh, nice, Glaber Torres, rookie. Take that. And a Mike Leak, gold border. Glaber Torres, rookie, that's not a bad one. Forgot about him, too. Glaber Torres, rookie. Big league. Okay, moving on. Heritage high number hobby pack. Okay, so these are really tricky um, when you open them because um, the way that they sealed this so tightly on the top, if you pull it wrong, it can bend the cards. So, what I do is I just take a knife, I'm gonna cut this really quick so I don't pull it apart. There we go. Right, just take a knife and then you can just slide it down like that. Slowly open it like this. And then you don't damage the cards. Because uh, when Tops made those packs, they made them so tight. When you pull on that flap, it'll just, all the corners of every one of these cards will get bent. Alright, here we, here we go. Probably nothing in here anyways, but a high number. Uh, Johander Mendez, rookie, and yeah, exactly <laughs> what I expected, a complete base pack. I'm just going to double check these real quick. If it's uh, a parallel, I'll say it up here. So just look right there really quick. This one actually might be a short print, Jose Abreu, because it's a 700 number. So, all right. All right, moving on. Here we go. Next pack. Heritage Minor League. 2020 Hobby Pack. Oops. As I drop it. These ones aren't tight like the other ones. They actually pull apart like they're supposed to. So, you don't have anything to worry about the, the Minor League version. Wow, uh, that's a nice one on top. Wander Franco. It's a good card right there. He's the, the buzz right now. He didn't make the cut for the team, but that doesn't mean he can't show up. You never know. Good one there. Let's see what else we got in here. I'm just going to do it this way so I can look at the back. Brandon Blake, Chase Grisham, Greg Jones, Tortugas, Jose Garcia. 
Louis Contreras, and Tyler Stevenson. If these are short print, they'll say it as well. You can also look at the numbers. If you're really all about that stuff, you just check the number here. If it's anything but 14. There you go. So, I should check this one too. 14, okay. All right, next pack, 2020 Pro Debut Hobby Pack. All right, Ethan Small, Adam Hall, Gunder Hernandez, Nate Pearson, that's a good one. He's actually a rookie this year. Uh, Kyle Muller, Jose Cantillo, Coar and Mackenzie Gore. It's not a bad one. Nate Pearson. Another pitcher. Alright, 2020 update series hobby pack. One auto or, or mem per hobby box. So, let's see if we can find something like a short print or something crazy in here. Lane Thomas, Freeway Victory. That's kind of a cool card, actually. This is a straight base pack, unless, let's see, 590. Check these real quick. 590, okay. So that was just a base pack. That happens. All right, 2021 20, Series 1 Baseball Hobby Pack. Should be fun. I like this one. Here's a cup. Tawny Gonslin. Gonslin. Actually, pretty good. Uh, more rookie though. Luis Patino. That's a good one. Rookie. Fernando Tatis, that's a cool card. I like that. I set that there. Ronald Acuna Jr. doing the dive. That's cool. I like that one too. Is there a number? Yeah. That one was straight up base as well. <laughs> These are actually some pretty good cards though. This uh, Ronald Acuna. Well, not all base. This was an insert technically. This is the 1970s insert card. Uh, seven years of tops or something. Pretty cool card though. I like it. It's like he's yelling at somebody. <laughs> All right, next up, last pack of uh, baseball, then we move on to football and basketball. So we got 20, 2020 Prism baseball. All right, Anthony Rendon, Domingo Leba, rookie, Juan Soto insert. That's cool. Tyra Glasnow, and a Sandy Alcer, that guy. All right, so baseball, pretty decent. Let's do a quick recap for baseball before we move on to the next sports. So we got a Fernando Tatis, Wander Franco, Gleyber Torres rookie, and this Black Refractor number 35 of Nick Birdie, which uh, I'll have to look him up, check out who he is exactly, if he still plays. And we've got a decent amount of rookies, some good stuff in there, and then, of course, all the... The, the bigger cards, you saw those, so we're not going to recap those. All right, moving on. 2006 Hot Prospects Hobby Pack for football. Now I see some football action. This is what we're, miss, we're missing because we had to switch to multi-sport, so this is all we get for football now. All right, Tony Gonzalez. Anquan Bolden. They're sticking together just a tiny bit. Okay. Anquan Bolden, a Steven Jackson, two cards stuck there, Marvin Harrison, and a Joey Galloway, so all base. Next up, same exact pack, let's do this, see if we can find something in here. We might have something in here actually, it's a little bit thicker, something thicker in here or it's a dummy. Alright, we got a Chris Chambers work done, we'll go to the back, Justin 
McCarrens, McCarrens, Philip Rivers. It's kind of cool. And then we have a. What is this player? Oh, Brandon Williams. Our is this a rookie patch auto? HP auto rookie. Yeah, it is. Brandon Williams. Okay, I don't. <laughs> can honestly say I don't remember this guy. Nine ninety nine, numbered out of nine hundred and ninety nine. Brandon Williams RPA. So we did get a hit. So that's cool. Not complaining. Even if he might not be in the league anymore, still hit. So there you go, Brandon Williams. All right, next up we have 2011 Panini Threads Hobby Pack. I've actually had some good luck with this stuff. It's really fun to open too. Nope. Oh, yeah, I might have a dummy in here probably actually. Oh no, we have a hit. We have something in here. All right, so we got Pe Brandon Pettigrew. That's right, they're all this way. That's all. That's a tall stack there. All right, Matt Ryan. Dallas Clark, let's go to the back. So we have a Mike Tolbert, Bo Scaliff, Miles Austin, Sidney Rice. There's a rookie of Steven Wisniewski. Okay. <laughs> and then I guess it's backwards, so let's do this. I think it's backwards. Nope, I guess it was front. Rookie collection. Mark Ingram, nice. Okay, cool. I like it. Mark Ingram, rookie collection uh, threads there. Out of two ninety nine, he's actually a really good player. That's I like that. That's a good hit. Mark Ingram got two hits. So out of three packs that we had of football, we actually managed to get two hits. That's cool. I'll take it. All right, last two packs. Um, NBA Hoops and Prism. So we'll just do the hoops first. It's from a blaster. I don't expect much, but uh, let's see how we do here. Anthony Davis. DeAndre Jordan. Matisse Thibault. Carmelo Anthony. Devonte Graham. Looks like we have a rookie on the back of Precious. Precious. <laughs> it's a rookie, so I'll put him there. And then we also have another rookie of Kira Lewis Jr. And then a insert of Zion. No, that's not Zion. What am I thinking? <laughs> I saw New, or New Orleans. I was like, Zion. No, it's a Kira Lewis Jr. Class of 2020 insert card. And there you go. That's the hoops pack. Last pack. Only two packs of basketball. Let's see if we can pull something great out of here. Uh, hybrid Hobby. Panini Prism Draft Picks. Um, there are autos and stuff in here. Parallels, short prints, stuff like that. So see what we can pull off. Oh, nice. So these are all? Oh, they're all sparkly. Okay. And I have something, I think, backwards in here. Uh, Tyler Bay, uh, I guess it's Fast Break Parallel, that's cool, I like it, a Killian Hayes, Precious, oh Precious, and we have a backwards card here, let's do it this way, uh, looks like we have a Nico Mannion on the back, and we have an auto from Najee Marshall. So Nico on the back out of uh, 175, rookie. And we did get an auto, which is kind of cool. I think there's only one auto per box. Not number, just the regular base, but is a uh, Najil, Najee Marshall. Honestly, I can't say I remember <laughs> if this guy is on a team or not. The name does not uh, pop up familiar to me. Plus, he has the, the American flag symbol thing on here. So I don't know what college he was. There you go. So we've got at least a auto from each sport. That's pretty awesome, actually, uh, all things considered. So do a quick recap for you guys for the basketball stuff. As you can see, we got just the the ones here. Not too bad. The football, we got one. 
and then just a bunch of base uh, of the football stuff too and the basketball not too bad though i mean multi-sport that was really fun i, I enjoyed that it was a fun rip um got the uh, auto from the Niall Marshall, and then of course the Threads, Mark Ingram, rookie, and then the Brandon uh, Williams here, which is pretty cool too. So uh, I'd say that was a pretty good success for a uh, single box. Really good uh, hits in there. And then I already recapped the baseball, but we did get the auto there of the baseball and some other good stuff. So that was, that was good. I, I enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. I definitely will be getting that again. So let's just do this real quick. This wasn't part of the collectible card club, but I figured I'd toss this in. We'll open this too. Bowman Sterling, you're looking at one auto and five base cards per mini box. There's a lot of prospects in here that you're looking for and stuff like that. Um, so we'll see how we do. There's the odds on the back if you like that kind of thing. But let's just get into this and see what we got sitting inside this box. Has the one single pack in here, just like that. Boom. Like if someone took that out of the box, you wouldn't even know what this pack was. They could sell you this blank pack and be like, hey, that's Bowman Sterling. <laughs> eh. Anyway. Alright, let's see what we do here. Ah, it's a nice one on top already. There is an auto in here, thankfully. Adley Rushman, that's a nice uh, prospect there. It's like one of the top prospects. Jordan Alvarez rookie, that's a nice card there too. Sam Hilliard rookie, I think the auto might be the next card. Nolan Jones. Oh wow, look at this, Jason Dominguez. What a pack. A Jordan rookie, a Rushman rookie, I mean a prospect card, and a Dominguez prospect. Sweet. That's a nice card right there. Jason Dominguez. Top of that one right now. Uh, let's see what we got for our auto here. It's behind the Sam Hillard. Los Angeles Jacob Amaya out of 150. Los Angeles Dodgers. It's a prospect auto there. Jacob Amaya. I have to look him up. I don't remember where he falls, but he's a shortstop, so he's not a pitcher, so that's good. He's a hitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's on card too nice on card out of 150 that's a cool card I'll have to check him out Let's see where he's at on the uh, prospect list for the Dodgers sweet that was fun alright that was actually a really nice little pack there Definitely like the Bowman Sterling. I'll probably get a couple more of those. Pretty good deal, actually. I had the Rushman in there. That was cool, too. Nice. All right, well, that's going to conclude the break. I really do appreciate you all sticking around and having some fun, uh, doing some rips, and uh, checking out the Collectible Car Club this month. Unfortunately, the things had to change with it. Uh, it happens because, you know, the hobby is getting expensive now and they have to find a way to work it into their uh, business model. So I understand. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think this month of the Collectible Card Club Multi-Sport Platinum Edition. Um, until next time, y'all stay safe out there and uh, remember, keep on ripping.